Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about, before I move to the teacher segment, are there other practices or path or books or resources for those who are facing their dark moments that you can share with them? Yeah. Going back to tea, if you think about the simple process of brewing tea, it's it's leaves and water. If you select the water, a good clean water source, you have your teapot, you have your cup or you know whatever tea accoutrements that you'd like to use, just turning your phone off, turning your devices off for you know, six minutes or so, selecting the leaves, preparing the water, getting your cup ready and being super mindful in that process. Meaning feel the leaves, feel the temperature of the water, feel the cup and breathe in the aromatics. That simple process, that ritual, regardless of the teas that you use, that simple ritualistic process will help feed you in significant and meaningful ways. Now, if you think about the product itself, it's typically grown in a very pristine environment, but the sole purpose of those products at this point is now to use your alchemy, use your body to fully realize the energetic proponents of that botanical that you're consuming or that tea that you're consuming. The sole purpose now of that botanical is to be that key to unlock something within you. Mm. So if you, even if you take a look at a tomato, a tomato, you could easily just, you could, it could outlive its purpose by just throwing the tomato on the floor and throwing it in the trash and that's it. But if you consume the tomato, then the, even on a cellular level, all the properties of that tomato are being fully realized. So what can we do through a sense of gratitude and through a sense of intention, give some deeper purpose and meaning behind just a few minutes a day of finding select high quality teas, ideally, and high quality, pure, clean water and enjoying that process process. And it's a whole paradox. Like, man, I don't know that I have six minutes, but if you give yourself that permission, then you'll end up finding that you have so much more time and so much more capacity to be able to give in this world. I think that it creates a chain of something that's beyond people that existed way before us. So let's take tea, for example. Now, as we consume and as we enjoy a good cup of tea, as as we're pouring, so there are several similar cross traditions that tend to happen with tea. So one is pouring three times. So pour, and then a second time, and then a third time. Now, why three times? So the first is, is that at the top level of the teapot, it's a lighter brew. And at the bottom, it's a richer brew. So if I pour for you and then I pour for myself, I'm going to have a different tasting cup than yourself. But if I pour for each of us three times, then we're, we're each tasting the same thing. That's the superficial level. Then there's the deeper level, right? And an even deeper level. So the deeper level is there's a level of mastery behind this. If you are, let's say you and I are playing archery and you shoot a bullseye. Wow, that's amazing. You got a bullseye. That's great. Then you shoot again and you hit another bullseye. All right, could be luck or it could be mastery. We don't know yet. You hit a bullseye a third time. It wasn't luck. You're a master of what you're doing. So by pouring three times, there's a beginning and there's a middle and an end. And life is, as we explore on our paths, it's cyclical, right? We go through this 365, but it's not a complete closed circle loop, rather it's cylindrical, which tends to keep rising, especially if we're on an intentional path. If we can utilize tea and that process of pouring three times, even sipping three times, bringing in all the different sensory experiences, we tend to think oftentimes for those that might not be aware of ritual or might not be incorporating rituals, something that has to be so far out there in this world. It doesn't have to be. It could be so simple. So simple as a blade of grass, putting your right foot on the floor, taking taking tea in the morning, you know, uh, what you're doing with your, your journal entry before you go to bed. There's very simple things that we could be doing that can have a rich and meaningful impact impact on your day-to-day life. Yeah. In my mind, as we were speaking, what comes to mind could be a series of tea journals. I know that you're already getting into teaching people how to make tea and enjoy tea. There's a whole series of things that one could do just around tea, simplistic tea enjoyment experience slash ceremony. Yeah, anyway, we have just a thought. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. I, I love it. And there are tea ceremonies that are starting to pop up. It's been around for a few years, but with COVID, it's definitely posing some more challenges. But 
but just the simple process of leaves and water and, and pouring and serving. A lot of what we tend to focus on is the hospitality space from like Peninsula Hotel in Tokyo to a beautiful sit down restaurant in Century City. So there's something about being served. I remember I had a friend over and I made her, I said, do you want me to make you some tea? She's like, yeah, I'd love it. I made her some tea, offered it to her. And she said, you know what? Honestly, I could have made it myself, but there's something about someone else making it for me. It just, just always tastes so much better. And so again, even with those dark moments, just by being really intentional and even mm -hmm. offering a cup of tea for someone else, it's amazing the healing process that happens through that transference, the products that you're, you're the energy that you're putting into it. When, mm -hmm. you, when we blend our tea at our, our facility, in terms of how we're blending, the music that we're playing, the, there's an energetic transfer that goes into the product that we hope will impact someone's life in some deep and meaningful way. And if, if you love storytelling and, and you want to hang out more, and let's say you want to dive deeper into tea. We actually recently launched How to Become a Tea Expert. And it's hanging out with me in 25 videos on how to become a tea expert. And it's on our website, artistsea.com, how to become a tea expert.